and welcome back to the woodland with me. This is part two of my Tony Owl vlog. Whereas uh, you may have seen now part one where we were setting up trail cameras. Well that camera has now been collected and all the footage is correlated on the previous video to this one. So if you haven't seen that feel free to go watch that. If you have watched that video you will know now that the, uh, the Tony Owl has now fledged with one little baby and has left its nest and is now doing what's called branching. So the owl will go and find a nice safe branch to go hang out on and the mum will continue to come and feed the owl. So tonight I'm going to try and track down where this um, little owlet is and see if we can get some video of them in the woods. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put my ghillie suit on. Uh, this is just more to help me blend them a little bit more so that when I do find the owls I'll be able to watch them from afar without disturbing them too much. And I'll get into the details of how I'm going to track these owls um, as I get moving. Right, ghillie suit's on. I'm not going to put the full gloves and face mask on today as it's already too hot in here. So what my master plan is, is I'm going to go for a s slow, subtle walk through the woods, making sure that I stick to any paths that I can find and not touching or standing on any uh, actual sort of like brackish areas where the ground's a bit higher and the plants are growing just in case there's nesting birds or fledglings in there and what I'm going to listen for is as the tawny owl starts to hunt tonight as the blackbirds are still awake the blackbirds will be upset by this so if I can find some blackbirds giving out some alarm calls I should be able to follow those sounds to hear the female or male tawny owl hunting for the owlet and once the blackbirds start calling, the mother will start calling, and the chick will start calling in turn, which will then let me hopefully triangulate exactly where they are. So we go for a little walk now, have a sit down somewhere nice and quiet, and see if we can uh, find some owlets. So I've been walking for about five minutes now. I've not heard any young yet. And I've not heard any other calls yet. There's plenty of bird call around, but no, no alarm calls or anything. So we'll just keep slowly walking around and see what we find. So as I was saying earlier, I'm gonna make a point of not walking in areas like this here. As a lot of wildlife use this for shelter and to hide in. And the last thing you want to do is to disturb a nest unknowingly or knowingly and uh, or kill an animal itself. So when you are in woodland like this, do make sure you try and stick to more laid out paths where you can see exactly where you're putting your feet. If you look just here where the ground's all been disturbed, that's sign of roe deer usually in the area. So I do the raw roe deer here. I did get some on the trail camera in part one. But uh, when you are walking the woods and you see sections like this where the roots have been dug up, it's very likely going to be a roe deer. As you can hear now, there's a lot of blackbird commotion over here. If you listen quietly, you can hear an occasional uh, tawny call. So I'm going to go try and find a safe way to go have a quick look. So if you just look dead ahead in this tree here, this is where the uh, parent bird is. Um, the blackbird seem to have left it alone now. But, uh, I'm going to get my big camera up and running and we will see what happens next.
it's absolutely great when you find these little owlets and they're so white and fluffy they're absolutely adorable I'll uh, keep popping down and seeing uh, seeing what their progress is and as I find them I will uh, keep you up to date right well I hope you enjoyed that uh, I'm losing all the light now so I'm going to get off home hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you next time